Hello. So this is gonna be like a seven in one video. I asked you guys if you wanted to see me do my eyebrows. You said yes. I've also asked people that they wanna see me do my um, face wash video again and also makeup. Did I already say that? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna do all of them now, start to finish. <laughs> Uh, so for face wash, here comes Luna. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hey, big girl. All right. So I use this acne face wash. I've been using it for a really long time, and it helped um, with a certain amount of pimples. I just got over my period and I was using baby wipes to wash my face for a little while, so I have like three pimples today. Anyways, so the last time I made this video, my toddler was here and the quality of the video is pretty horrible. So this is the second attempt. Alright, rub this in. And on the bottle it says that you're supposed to let it dry on your face. And if this is your fir first time using acne wash, um, the products inside of these things will stain your towels and everything you own will be bleached. So use a white towel or a towel you don't care about. Trust me on this. <laughs> um, what's kind of funny is that I've been dealing with kind of like adult acne for a long time and I don't know why it never dawned on me to use acne products. So I saw this video on TikTok and um, they were using all these products that I'm going to show you and um, it's been maybe like three months now, two months, I can't really remember, but I've seen a significant difference in the texture of my skin um, if I don't pick it in my face. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, I do, it's it's like, okay, so before when I had acne, I just would tear up my whole face, but I still pick my skin, except that I don't know, it's just the acne stuff helps it not to look horrendous. Okay, it looks like it's dried in. in the shower um, it gets really really red so if this happens to you do not be alarmed <laughs> like super red <laughs> I love it I feel like it's really like killing my skin um, next step is this um, it feels like a toner it unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores so each one of these does something different one is for unclogging the other one is for like minor peeling you know they all have their own because it's not just pimples it's it's all in between the little tiny bumps and stuff so you put this on once or twice daily use a cotton pad do not rinse so some of these things are pretty strong and um I never had any severe action reactions to it, um, but it says to use with sunscreen afterwards. I probably should do that. It's kind of gross. Um, all right. Just fell in my toilet. <laughs> okay. This is off. It was closed. Okay, so also another thing I heard online is that you are to layer the products. Don't um, mix them. So wait for it to completely dry. Use something else, wait for it to completely dry. So you're not just combining them. Wash my hands. Next is 
this. Um, it's lactic acid. This is the one that has like a mild kind of peeling so it gets rid of like dead skin and stuff. This one is 5%. Um, the one you, you can find five or 10 online and the next time I will buy the 10. This is the five. Um, I don't necessarily, I think I want more now. Maybe start with the five and then go to the 10. However aggressive you wanna be. This one you can use every day, one time a day. Okay. Also gonna let that dry. Then, while we're waiting for that, this one is topical acid. Azelaic. Hold on, let me let Luna outside. Luna, come. You wanna go outside? Okay. Azelaic acid. This one um, has niacinamide and vitamin C. I think it helps with, let's see, imperfections such as congestion, redness, dullness, and discoloration. Just another fun acid. Oh. Face. All right, so I'll stick that on. So you're not supposed to, well, we all don't do our face every single day, two times a day like this, right? But sometimes we're really good and we do. So I do it, I use this stuff as often as I remember to to do all this. So I don't really like skip days unless if I just completely skip and do a baby wipe. You know what I'm trying to say? So as often as I do my whole routine, I do the whole routine. Cause I, we all mess up. We all don't do it some mornings and skip nights and all that. Okay, let this dry. Last but not least, aloe vera gel. This stuff feels so good on your skin. It's like tight and cool. It's amazing. I just love the sensation. My husband uses it too. Um, all right, so just a little bit. I'm gonna let this really dry. Okay. This takes a little longer. So I'll wait for this to dry. Oh, and this also helps with redness, you know, like sunburn. So the redness from um, all these products that you're using, we can chill out. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna let this soak in and then I'll be back to do my makeup. And after a 20 minute argument with myself, I decided to wash my hair too. <laughs> Take a shower. Okay. So I'm going to cover my dark circles, bags under my eyes as well. There's another video on that. Here we go. Okay. I do my eyes first because I can't stand to look at myself in the mirror until I get rid of it. This is a uh, Bye Bye Under Eye by It. Um, you can find it, I think you can find it on Amazon as well. Um, it's like a, kind of more of an oily based. I'm pretty oily myself, but my under eyes are dry. And so um, this is like max coverage. And people always tell me I look so well rested when I use this stuff. Best compliment for a mom, right? And the handy old brush. Sorry, the lighting's not fantastic. Yeah, I gotta go get my ring light. Done. I love this thing. And occasionally I put too much. Um, I always like try to sweep up at an angle because of all these videos that tell you it makes you look younger and looks your face. So I do that. Also, my eyes always turn red when I put makeup on. So I um, use Visine as well. <laughs> all right, down the center. Super shiny. Put 
because like the center of your face is supposed to be the brightest, so it's like kind of contouring. So I do the whole, the whole shebang. All right, good enough. Then I use um, Shape Tape by Tarte. And I also saw this on some videos where you put it like in the corner of your eye and then like, like that at an angle. So I can't just do those sections like some of the videos suggest. It's supposed to give you like a facelift um, impression. So I just do that one because maybe it's a little bit lighter. Okay, cool. Okay, now for the rest of my face. I use also Bye Bye Foundation. It's really um, high coverage. Um, I've been using this forever, forever. Anyways, when I wanna really cover. So squeak, squirt, 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 squirt. Same brush. It just makes everything look smooth from the beginning. No padding with the little, um, those little blender balls and stuff. Like, I don't have time to do that. This is just like, puts it on evenly. And it looks flawless. Not my skin, the makeup. Okay. Next is the eyebrows, okay? This is new for me. I have had my eyes micro microbladed um, almost four years ago, which is kind of abnormal for microblading to last that long. But I am thankful. <laughs> I'm missing some parts in my eyebrows. So they're kind of fading a little bit. So lately, and also because I want to get a different kind of shape. So I have been doing the soap brows as well. I'm using this. I'll link everything, um, I'll make one, one list for everything. Okay, so what I do here, I'm looking in my mirror, is just kind of bring it down a little further. I wanna grow that section in. The hair kind of comes with me because it's long. Make it a little straighter. And then same thing for the top. All right, just fill it in a little more and I don't do a lot in this corner. All right, and then do the other one. See, they look just a little even fuller. So straight line on the bottom. And on the top. The lighting is terrible in my bathroom. <laughs> okay. And because everyone's eyebrows are different, you're gonna have to do yours a little bit. Okay. Then, take this little brush for the soap brows. Nobody tells you to get it wet. You have to get it wet. <gasps> Otherwise, it's not gonna work. <laughs> my best friend told me that. I'm like, it wasn't working for me. She's like, well, did you get it wet? I'm like, Oh, no, I will. Okay, same thing here. So doing chunks of soap. Don't be alarmed. It just kind of like softens it. And from far away, they look natural and youthful. Okay. So because I have microblading, you know, that line is kind of hard to blur a little bit. Well, it's not really a hard line, but still. So that's why the pencil, I think, helps me more. Okay, from far away. Up close. Who's the other one? A little bit of water. 
I never knew bending over like this was gonna make me out of breath for this long. <laughs> okay. That's soap, not like boogers or something. And looks like I got way too much water over here. It's cool. It's cool. Okie dokie. That's how you do your soap brows. How I do mine. The thing is that they, um, it's not like gel, so they do fall a little bit. They look a little. See the other side? It's, it's kind of. Or I can just take this and. Because I forgot I got all that extra water over here. I'm <laughs> really stuck. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. Maybe I'll make the other one a little crazier. like the fullest brows. <laughs> okay. My problem is I'm now taking off my makeup above the eyebrow. Okay, I'm a hot mess today. Anyways, that looks good. I'm okay with that for today. Then, let that dry. I'm gonna go to do some powder for my face so I don't look so shiny. I'm using MAC. Old school. It's vintage. Oh, I forgot something. So I saw this video on TikTok that for like reverse contouring and it looks really nice so what you do is you take blush and you put it here and they kind of give you like the sun kissed look one a little bit on your nose then you take the powder and put it around it so it like looks it looks more natural than just like it's sitting on top i think you know because it's like kind of covered kind of not and then I just started using a contour marker set, I don't know, because from the wedding, from my best friend's wedding, they, she put this on my face and it just like changed everything. So you do the cheekbone, mm -hmm. I don't do any of this, I just kind of go down the side. look um it looks great on photos and camera you know it's like i wouldn't necessarily do this just to leave the house but like if i'm gonna take pictures and stuff it looks pretty good your face looks pretty good so also take this is a two set a light and a dark but i've just been using the dark lately you're supposed to make like a A gold post on your forehead. Blend it in. You probably can use something a little more professional than your finger, but. All right, then the light side. Oh. <laughs> it just fell out. Okay, cool. So you're supposed to take it and put it below. And we'll just do it today for fun. I don't do my nose because I am not that skilled and I think it looks terrible every single time I do it. <laughs> Leave those that for the professionals. Okay. Then what you're gonna do. Oh, this. This I use for 
the highlight it's like a little shimmery it's kind of like a little liquid that comes out and i overdid it the other day so be really gentle a little bit like that and then i also put this in the corner of my eye and now uh, you know for some brightness and youth also super professional use my fingers okay and then you're supposed to put it like right there a little bit Highlight on your nose. Okay, and then in the center of the eye. Not the center, corner. All right. My eyes don't look so red, otherwise this would be when I put Visine on right after I put all the makeup on. <laughs> And we'll do mascara. Okay. Always use a curler for me. I always use a curler. I also ripped out all my eyelashes. <laughs> like the day of my high school photos. Because I don't know if you've ever put mascara on and then tried to reapply and recurl. That's how you rip them out. Mascara. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. It's a fiber mascara, which makes your eyelashes longer. And it is the easiest mascara to take off. It falls off in fibers as well. It doesn't smear all over your face. It's wonderful. And it doesn't really get all clumpy on your eyes. Like, you know, sometimes you can't get the other brands off. It's like a fresh, fresh start every day, which is really nice because I don't want them clumpy. This eye, I already curled it, but I forgot. And my eyes are starting to look red. So we'll do Visine. Whenever I go out and people are like at, at dinner time, they're like, oh, you look so tired. I'm like, no, it's just. I have makeup on. <laughs> My eyes are red. Okay. Bottom. I don't want to get up all of my lips. Okay, so I've been using these Bare Minerals lipsticks for years. The color I've been using is XO, XOX, and then like Mantra or something like that. Super nude, super natural. This is the more pinker one. The Mantra is a little more of like a purple tone, but they're still neutrals. And um, I'll show you later. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Also, I made a video about this. This is game changer. I never use my hair blow dryer anymore. I only use this because it's faster and sleeker. Like it makes no sense to use a blow dryer anymore. It's um, the Revlon. I don't even remember what it's called. I'm looking for my visine. We'll blow dry my hair.
That's how I get ready from start to finish. Oh, one more thing. For those of you who also get um, inflamed pimples that maybe you can't stop touching, I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, but by putting Neosporin on it, the cream one, um, it helps, it has, it's an antibacterial, I mean, sorry, anti um, antibiotic. So it helps keep it uninfected and it heals it pretty fast and it also helps with pain. I, whenever I have something I can't let go or I like won't leave alone, this is, um, this helps it heal and you might stop touching it. I also wanted to try something for the first time on live television. So I've been seeing people, I have technically have these things called curtain bangs that everyone has on, online and I've seen them curl them. Um, in the very like 70s. Gonna try it. Just wait for the seat up. Oh, also, I've always used like cheap curling irons my whole life and um, my granny actually gave me this one. It's called the Lange. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correct. L-A-N-G-E, and th my hair is shiny after. It's, I think it just protects your hair better than like, for example, my $12 Conair one that I've been using for so long. Um, I don't know, it feels much smoother than anything I've ever used before. So I don't really know what I'm doing. This is gonna be my first time. Nothing happened. Okay, try one more. Just kind of want to do the wand. One, two, three, I'm Kind of looks like I got a blowout. Subtle texture, right? Makes my hair look fuller.
Okay. I'm good. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can see all my videos when they come out. And um, if you're interested in any of these products I use, they'll be in the link below. And uh, let me know if you've used any of these, how your experience was, if you found something better and if you've tried these things before, just let me know.